Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am back. And uh, I'm back for, with another episode here at Bold Talk by Joe. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. And I had to take a little bit of a break. I had to get some training done. I had to take a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu seminar that I've been waiting for. So I had to stop all the recording and I had to, you know, start uh, practicing and, and just getting into uh, focusing into what, uh, what I was going to go do, right? And the seminar was, uh, was really, really amazing. And I haven't taken a seminar like that in years. I've taken a lot of seminars when it comes to uh, jujitsu, but I've never, but I haven't uh, recently, right? It's just, it's been years ago since I took my last seminar. So I was excited, you know, I was excited and I had to do a lot of recording and a lot of stuff, but I put it to the side and I did record a bunch of episodes. It's just, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I felt about what I was talking about. And one of the things that I don't, if I'm not comfortable with the things that I'm saying, I'm just not going to put it out there uh, just because I don't know enough. For instance, this Kanye West thing, uh, we'll talk about that first. How about that? This Kanye West thing, right? I'm sure I'm like three weeks late to the party, but I didn't want to just put it out there either because everybody was putting it out there. And and I, I'm trying to stick to the trend, trying to follow stuff of, you know, what's, what's happening in society and our culture and this and that. But it's some stuff is just way over my head. You know, this anti-Semitic stuff, I didn't even know what it was. Like, I had to look this up. I had to really look it up and like, what the heck is this? Because I have no idea what these guys are talking about. And uh, obviously, I saw some videos as a podcast that Kanye was doing and uh, the things that he was saying, and he lost all these sponsors, right? Adidas and all these other people. And and it's just like lost a bunch of money and people and friends and, and followers and fans. And I mean, you name it, right? And uh, now this guy is uh, coming out, basically apologizing for the things that he said. Uh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump too much into what, what uh, the topic of what he was talking about, because like I said, it's still kind of like over my head. I know that he said some stuff about Jewish people on a, like a news channel, but all I got to say about the Kanye thing is having that kind of money and that kind of stature and being successful like he's been, because he's been successful. We can't take, we can't take that away from Kanye. Kanye has been successful. You know, it doesn't, not everybody can be a Kanye. Not everybody can make music and, make all this money and and get this stardom like not everybody can do that right i mean look at me i'm doing a podcast if that was that easy i would be like kanye too right making all kinds of money but it's not i mean this guy has a gift right he has a gift and i i feel like he has to he has to put things aside right if you're gonna if you're gonna attack people why don't you just do why don't you just say the names of the people that they are and, and leave other things out of the way, you know, whatever religion, whatever nationality, whatever they are, you know, put that aside and let's not separate people right into little groups. So he went on there and, and said all these kinds of things. And what I'm, what I, what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is he could have, he has all this stuff, right? He's Kanye. He's super smart. He's made millions of dollars. He was a billionaire at one point. You have to, you have to be able to communicate correctly. You can't just rent out shit like that in the air. It's going to cost you, right? It's going to cost you. There's ways to talk. There's ways on doing things. And somebody like him, right, is a producer. He's this and that and all kinds of different things that this guy does. He wears many hats. You should be able to be professional about all these situations because just the way you're talking about other people and the way you're treating other people just imagine how he treats his employees and all the rest of the people, right? Because they're not at the same level as him. So just imagine of the way he's acting. I can, you know, I maybe he he talks like that to everyone else. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know Kanye. I have no idea what this guy does in his private life or how he is. It's just the stuff that we see in the news and in the newspapers and the internet and 
all this kind of stuff. But I think that somebody like him should act professional. Somebody his age, somebody somebody with that kind of intelligence, somebody with that kind of, of gift and talent that he has, he should use it for good things and be able to talk and be able to communicate correctly without insulting people and telling people all kinds of stuff. Somebody was saying, I was reading on Reddit and all these other places, Twitter, saying that, oh, he just wanted to get off of his contracts. He's a smart man. He wanted to get out of his contracts because he couldn't break them. So he had to do this in order to for the other people to cut him loose so he can start his own stuff. If that's the case, this is a really stupid way to do it. Because I'm sure you could talk business and not just go on TV and say stupid shit in order to to leave so those people can drop you as their sponsor or drop you as their, you know, as as their, their co collaboration partners or their partners, business partners, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of like there's ways to do things, right? And I think that's where he failed is he failed miserably because he could have just been professional about it. And then you have like this Kyrie Irving thing with the uh, basketball player of the Brooklyn Nets. And now he's, I think he's, they, I heard something about that. He plans on retiring and he made, he said something about a movie that was on Netflix. I, I, I never, like I said, I don't know much about this kinds of stuff, but he said something about it and the NFL was freaked out about it. And it's about this anti-Semitic stuff again. Like I said, I had to look it up because I was like, what, what is this guy talking about? I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Then I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's it's about uh, discrimination to, to the Jews, to Jewish people. And I was like, oh, my God, like, what the heck? So I read a little bit about it and I was like, man, this is crazy stuff, right? Like, this is what's happening in our world, right? And and like I said, I'm not naive to stuff, but, you know, when they, they were like anti-Semitic and I was like, what the heck is these guys talking about? What is all these people talking about? What is that? You know what I mean? I'm, I don't understand what any of this stuff is. And maybe I'm not, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a scholar and, and I don't know all this, these words and all these things that's happened in history and all this. I, I, but I didn't know, right? So I looked it up and I was like, holy smokes, this is way beyond my head. I don't even want to get into it. But, you know, how I look at things is, is part of the show is to, is for me to explain how I look at things. And, you know, stuff like this, like what Kyrie's saying, there's also ways to say things, uh, maybe in a different way, maybe more professional, maybe have like a council, somebody that can help these guys out express themselves. I mean, I know that that a lot of people are like, well, if they don't express themselves, they're not free. And blah, blah. But I mean, again, it's going to cost them everything. And yes, they're doing it because they see a purpose, right? Right or wrong. They could be completely right about all of this, and they could be completely wrong about this. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? But he's a basketball player. Like, you you have a lot of games to play. You have a lot of fans. They want to see you play basketball. That's what you made. That's what you got, that's how you got famous. And uh, he's now, he has to go through all these things, right? Kind of like Colin Kaepernick, like back in the day when he was kneeling down at the national anthem and all this stuff. And a lot of people including myself, were like, what the heck? You know, I just want to see football. And I don't want to see this stuff going on. But the guy was right. You know what I mean? The guy was right. And he was fighting for a cause, and he was willing to lose everything for a cause, right? And and that's why there's a lot of things like that that now I think about it. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't judge anybody. You know what I mean? It's not my place to judge them anyways, but I'm just going to leave them alone and see what happens and just, you know, make my podcast out of this stuff. Because this is, you know, this is what's trending. This is what people are talking about. And this is their society and culture, right? This is what this podcast is about. But, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, there's, like I said, there's some people that, like, are, like, against them. And there's some people that are for them. And, I mean, like I said, they could be right. They could be right this whole time. They could be completely right. And, and the rest of them are wrong. And some other people could be 100% uh, right and they're wrong. So, I mean, it's it's one of those things that it's, it's sad the things that happen, right? It's sad all this stuff with the race and this and that and nationalities and all. It's just it's just shitty how their country is like that when it comes to all these kinds of topics. And and I mean it's sad, right? Because he's now he's now stuck because he he they're, they're suspended the guy. So I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about this situation. I mean I look at it and it's tough, right? It's one of those tough things that. You know, these guys are, are fighting for something, right? They're fighting for 
for for stuff that they see wrong. And like I said, I don't know much about it, and maybe I should have researched some more stuff. But this is deep. I mean, this is way deep that I don't know if I want to get into that rabbit hole of whatever they everybody's saying these days. And it's like I just I just don't know enough in order for me to come out and be like, yeah, this is why they're wrong, or this is why they're, or they why they're right, or blah blah blah. Like I don't I don't know. I don't know enough. But speaking of you know, let's change the topic, and I want to uh, finish the pot this podcast with this this episode. Is uh, good things to the show. Good things are happening to the show. So we have uh, the show now has a a uh, a major supporter, uh, a sponsor, a, a collab, a collaboration with a local business here in Arizona, in the Valley, in um, in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, this company is called Jittery Dog Roasters. They are uh, they they roast their own coffee. It's a family owned business. And uh, it's it's great coffee, guys. And I thought I've been buying it since it came out. Yeah, uh, he's one of my friends, and uh, his name's Ted, and he's the owner of Jittery Dog Coffee. And uh, he we we talked about this. He was telling me about it when he was starting in, and he he went in and jumped in it. And and it's hard to start a business, right? It's hard to keep going. It's hard to spend all this money. It's hard to advertise. It's hard. It's hard to do things, right? Uh, but his coffee is great, and I'm a big time supporter of him. And he reached out to the show, and uh, we talked about it. And we've been working things out for about a couple months, and uh, they were really nice, really kind to me. They made me a, a a package, right? It has a shirt and a nice, cool mug, uh, right here. It's look at this, pretty cool. You know, jittery dog coffee roasters, pretty cool. It's really nice of them. They also gave me uh, a bunch of samples, a bunch of samples for their for their their coffee, and I'm gonna be making a small video of it so I can put it in in part of the show. Uh, that way, I just don't have it loose all over the place, right? That way, you can actually see it and see what I'm talking about. But uh, they have four different uh, uh, coffees. They have one that's uh, one that's called Wakey Juice, one that's called Blues Blues. That's blueberry coffee they have one that's called search and rescue they have one that's called i think it's tall dark and husky or something like that and it's uh, their stuff is based off on 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 dogs all their stickers have little little doggies on them it's pretty cool it's a it's a it's a really good idea and definitely unique and uh he's he's doing he's doing good and and you know and i want to thank jittery dog i want to thank uh ted for reaching out for wanting to work with me and uh on this uh on this collaboration and i want to put out the word for him if you guys want to go check out his coffee it's jitterydogcoffee.com and uh i don't have a you know if you say if you put in bold talk you get 10 percent. i don't have that yet we're working on those things this is just the beginning so bear with me but their coffee is really good and let, let me just tell you something since i'm already on the roll of this right plug it in i'm gonna plug it in so Basically, when other places, huge places, right? This is the local business. When huge places make coffee, they roast the coffee, they put it in bags, they send it out to the stores, right? They buy a certain amount per store. So they have contracts that they have to they have to make a certain amount of coffee and they have to send a certain amount of coffee to these stores, to these big, huge stores. The coffee usually sits there for a long time, right? And uh, it could sit for two weeks, three weeks, all that stuff. So with... With Jittery Dog Coffee, the difference is, is this guy brews in batches. So he gets the orders in, they're brewed, they're packaged. You know, not brewed, I'm sorry. Eh. Brewed is when you're making it. They roast the coffee, correction. They roast the coffee in batches and you get fresh coffee. So you might get like three days, you know, three days, four days old, you know, by the time you get it, the shipping and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And other places is that you're going to get it from the show. You don't know if it's been there for a couple of weeks. You don't know if it's been there for a month. You don't know how long, you know, how long it when how long it stayed in the storage before it got sent out. So it's pretty cool. You know, I like that. I Like I said, I've been drinking the coffee since the beginning. We enjoy it here at the house. It's one of our favorite coffees. I have multiple coffees. We have multiple coffees that we love, and this is one of them. And uh, I am really happy, and I'm excited that uh, – you know, a business reached out to the show, and this is a good thing. This is a really good thing. I'm gonna try to keep 
for the sponsor or for the per, or for the for the this is sponsor. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like a sponsor, right? For the supporters' sake, uh, when I do these kinds of shows, uh, I'm gonna try to not get so crazy about it. Uh, that's what my 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 subscription. That's what my my subscribed episodes are for. Those are kind of wild all over the place, saying all kinds of things. So this is just I'm gonna keep it a little bit more professional. Uh, not that they told me to. Not that he said, "Hey, I need you to stop saying the f word or shit or this or that." It's just my own self. It's a family-owned business, and uh, they they're it's it's clean, man. It's nothing, you know. They're not they're not selling knives and guns or nothing. I mean, it's it's a clean coffee business, family operated, and I want to make sure that I try to be as professional as I can, right? Because I I'm still gonna be myself. There's nothing gonna change about it. But uh, there's some things that I'm gonna have to. Uh, not say it that you know too many times because I just I don't want them to get a bad image because I'm saying the things that I'm saying you know on the show so it could affect them also so I want to work together right there's some things that you have to change during the way along the way as you do your podcast and this is one of them right try to be a little bit more professional just like Kanye right what could Kanye that would have done different is he could have been a little bit more professional so I'm gonna I'm trying to learn from everybody else that has lost a lot of money. And I'm going to try to take some tips and learn from them, from their mistakes. And I'm going to do the best I can to to um, to get this brand out, Jittery Dog Roasters, to get this brand out to help one of my friends and help their, their local business out. So if you want to get some coffee, check them out or just read their story, go to jitterydogcoffee.com. Man, I could really do this for a living. You know what I mean? I could really, hey, you guys need to reach out so I can plug in your stuff. You know what I mean? Like I could really be, look at me. It's like, I'm like a natural, just, you know, I could do commercials for you guys. So <laughs> anyway, so this is a really good thing, guys. This is a really good thing. I want to thank all my subscribers, all my listeners, supporters, friends of the show, podcast friends, everybody out there. There's plenty of stuff coming out. I have a, we're going to, I'm going to be rolling out a video. I got, I got to go do it and film it with uh, Jittery Dog. And we're going to do a short video of how they roast stuff and get to know them, get to know their facility, and also do a, a, a podcast with the owner and sit down with him. And so we can share uh, what motivated him to to get to this point and start a business. So that's cool. I have a there's a there's a, somebody else coming in, a book author's coming in, and I'm going to be doing a podcast with uh, one of my podcast friends. I'm not going to tell you the name because I think he's going to put it out. I'm going to be his guest on the show. So I'll wait till that happens and then I'll tell you guys. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully uh, you guys are having a great time. Thanksgiving's coming up. Christmas is coming up. Positive vibes, peeps. Positive vibes. Until next time. Peace.